Hey everybody, my name is Sean Seymour and I'm doing a quick review for you on this Ulanzi Iron Man 4 ST27. It's a phone holder that I bought thinking that I was going to be able to use it. I already own one and so at the end of this video I'm going to be explaining how I am going to be giving this away to somebody. All I need is a comment from you and your email address. Let's dive right into unboxing this thing and getting to the features and benefits of this holder. Comes in a box from Amazon, really good, well-packaged box. It's nice and flat matte finish. Now that we have this out of the box, let me show you real quick what my thoughts are about the features that I'm seeing. First of all, it is made out of metal. I like that a lot. I do not like plastic. I'm very tough on gear. Any of you that have been around me and seen some of my videos, you see how hard I am on gear. So plastic just breaks for me right away. The other thing I like is that this phone clip is able to take phones from 60 millimeters or 2.36 inches to 89 millimeters, which is 3.5 inches. So it's got a nice range for some of the larger maxed out phones. The clip actually locks which I like which is what this red dial on the back is here so you can pull the clip open you mount your phone in there and it locks I like that because if your clip fails which is what happens to a lot of these spring-loaded clips they fail and then all of a sudden your phone drops out of it and of course if there's something hard that your phone hits then you're losing a thousand dollar phone because you didn't spend an extra ten dollars on the holder the holder itself does rotate 360 degrees and it has this tension knob in the back that locks you out once you get there. As you're rotating, it's kind of cool because there's a little stop that tells you you've reached the 90 degree mark of that rotation. There are three cold shoe mounts. There's one, two, and three on the back. I'm not sure what you would use the back one for, but it's there if you need it. I suppose on these two, you might mount a light and then you might mount a mic. Maybe on the back, some other accessory that you might need, like maybe a wireless lapel uh, receiver. I don't know. Moving on to the rest of the mounting, it's got a quarter inch insert here quarter inch insert here those are on the back and then it's got a quarter inch insert on the bottom so if for some reason this Arca Swiss plate that's on the bottom here which should be 38 millimeters and fit into most ball heads if you don't have that you can just mount your plate on the bottom here and use the ball head that came with your tripod or whatever ball head you have I like that everything is machine screws which is great because you can take it apart. If anything breaks in there, you can replace it. We're not looking at rivets or anything along those lines or stainless steel screws. Screws wear out. So I think their idea behind the three cold shoes is that you can film vertically, throw the phone in there like this, tighten down the tensioner, which I really like, and then add your light and then whatever this mess is here for my microphone. Now let me cover a few things that I found being uh, a little bit challenging with this. If you have a light, you cannot film horizontally with the microphone and the light. It has to either be a microphone or a light. So here's my microphone, here's the cold shoe under here. There's no way to really get this under here. Going back to filming vertically, if I mount my microphone on the side like this, that is a very, very short area for me to be able to plug in. Let's just say that it's very difficult to use these accessories in anything but the vertical position. Here's another deal killer just for me. In order to change the orientation and rotate this, you've got to take your phone out of the holder. And you'll see what I mean here in just a second. Let's assume that I want to film vertically. So I'm gonna mount my phone in here and I'm gonna lock it off. That's about as far as I can go without my phone being you know, out of the holder. When I rotate this, my phone does not make it past the base plate. So in order to do anything, like film horizontally, I've got to loosen up this red thing and I have to take my phone out of the holder. I have to rotate the holder and then put my phone back in the holder. And of course, once I do that, I lose the bottom cold shoe. So I just have the top cold shoe. So in my opinion, three cold shoes is really not that usable if you're gonna film horizontally at any point because there's only gonna be the single cold shoe at the top that you're gonna be able to use. I would much rather have my phone be able to rotate and not hit the bottom shoe than to worry about whether or not I had a bunch of cold shoes on it. So the cold shoes are only usable if you're going to do vertical 
For me, it's a deal killer because I need to be able to leave this mounted on my tripod while I rotate my phone. Sometimes I want to do the vertical shot very quickly and I just want to rotate it. You can't do that with this holder. Other than that one little design flaw, I'm going to say that uh, this is a very high quality, well-made phone holder. If you don't need or you don't care about wanting to rotate your phone from horizontal to vertical, you'll be fine. If you need three cold shoes on here, or at least two that you can put a mic and a light, that works great. I showed you it's a little difficult with the microphone and the adapters that you need in order to attach to your phone, how that connection at the bottom really is almost difficult to make with this foot being so short. I own both the Iron Man 3 and the Iron Man 4, which means that I don't need both. I'm going to be giving away the Iron Man 4, and if you're interested, just make a comment down below. Let me know if there's a topic I should be covering or a product that I should be reviewing, and I need your email address. So if you would, click on the link below, give me your email address, and I will be reaching out to the winner here shortly. There's also one more email address link down below, and that is for a beginning photography course. It's a course where I will take you from, I don't know anything about my camera, anything about how to take pictures with my phone all the way through to where you're getting predictable results and you're comfortable. If you're interested in that, click that link for the photography course down below and when that's done, I will email you and let you know. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, click that subscribe and that like button for more of this kind of content. And until I see you on the next video, my friend, lock down those iPhones or Android and make sure to create more content. Till the next one, keep it simple.